Chapter 5, the present Hutu William. What is your view about your situation and uh, your expectations demand the uh, this global situation and how to, to fix the situation in your country and, and, and the continent? Thank you very much, Macron, and thank you for daring to call us to this meeting. I'm told it was how dare you conference, but in any case, we are here. Let me just speak to this in two ways. Number one, um, I have had my sister Kristalina and um, Bangla, and we have excellent relations with the World Bank and IMF from Kenya. And these people have been incredibly of assistance, and we sincerely appreciate. But I am also aware that both Kristalina and uh, Bangla have a job to do, and they have people they report to, called shareholders, and they don't have the final word. The final word rests with somebody else. And that is why we are almost all of us speaking the same language, because we seem to be on the same corner. There are people who are not sitting here, yet they call the shots. Now, we have a situation, and I, let me speak from the perspective of Kenya, our continent in Africa, and the Global South. We need emergency liquidity. We need debt relief. We need urgently new money, with urgency, with scale. That's our situation. How are we going to get that in the current situation? Um, listening to the terrorists this morning, we get development resources eight times more expensively than others. We, get, we have inadequate resources, and it takes forever to access it. So, how do we you know, find, how do we make meaning of this summit that my brother Emmanuel has put together? Our position is that if you want to get debt relief, emergency liquidity, and new money together, let us live here having agreed on one thing, that, like uh, Guterres has said, let's look for half of uh, 500 billion new money. But if we are going to distribute it the way we did SDR, we will end up with nothing. SDR, we ended up with 30 three billion dollars in our continent of 1.2 billion people. Europe, with 450 uh, million people, ended up with five times what we got. You heard it this morning, not from me, from the UN uh, Secretary General, that we got 13 times less as Africans as compared to Europeans because the whole architecture, and by the way, it was fair by the architecture, the current architecture of the financial system. But it is grossly unfair when we are looking at fairness. So, what are we saying? Our position, good people, is we do the following. Let us agree that the money we are supposed to pay for the next 10 years as repayment of debt, let us convert it into a new loan that is 50-year loan with 20-year grace period so that you don't have a problem with your triple A rating. You can continue to have the triple A rating. But you don't have a problem with your shareholders because you haven't given away any money. You've just changed the structure. And we get both liquidity, we get it urgently, and we can develop our countries. For Kenya, for example, we pay 
10 billion dollars every year to service our debt. If I had 10 billion dollars every year for development in Kenya, instead of paying debt, it would make a huge difference. That's all we are asking. We are saying, let's have something that is practical so that we live here, that next year, I don't have to pay $10 billion to pay debt. It will have been rescheduled. I will pay it 20 years from now. And I will have 30 years to pay, to pay that money. I will make that money available for roads, for health, for water, for education. It will make a hell lot of difference. We will have done something with this conference. We can discuss governance, we can discuss reform, we can discuss transformation of our multilateral development institutions. That will take time.